Here with junior middleweight Delvin Rodriguez. Exquisite fashion tonight, Mohegan Sun. Delvin, there's not much could be said. You know, we uh, you throw another opponent in front of you that's not right. a world class champion. You handled business like you should have. You you did. Yeah, they. You, your time is. Uh, how will we say this? Your, your time is now, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's only. It's now or never. Yeah, it's yeah but, it's but the, never. The, the, the point yeah. of the matter is, uh, they throw a guy in with you, thirty and all. Yeah. I mean, young upcoming lion, dismantle him, dude. It, it, it's not even a question of you won every single round. It was a true professional against a guy that yeah. was yeah. outclassed. Yeah. Now, you just came from fighting one of the. Probably one of the top looked at stars, and I believe so. and you gave him all he can handle more than Miguel Cotto did. Where do we go from here? Are you ready to finally get what's coming to you? I'm ready, man. I think uh, I've been ready. You know, the last fight that I fought in trial was a whole different fight. You know, um, yeah, to be honest, I corrected my mistake here. I know the mistake I made in that fight. You know, uh, yes, I can't take anything away from the guy. The guy, you know, he got quick feet, good boxer. I think he showed that against Cotto. You know, but. Uh, I believe that I could do a lot of damage to this guy. You know, uh, it's just one of those nights where I didn't correct my mistake. What, what else can you back? possibly have done? Uh, Seriously, he fought a great fight. People can I honestly mean, say it was a close fight. I, 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 know, I know what I could do. I know I know how much I got inside of me. You know, I, I know the mistake, like I told you. Um, I should have, uh, I think I didn't take the risk that I needed to take. The risk that double Rodriguez takes in every fight, you know. It's boxing, you need to take risks sometimes, you know. Uh, I was looking for that, for that precise moment. And, uh, I never, fought, I never found the rhythm, so, you know, but that's, that's behind me now, you know. I say we're ready to go to the next level again. We're ready to get right back in that, right back in line, like we want to fight for the world title uh, by the beginning of next year, man. Governing bodies know that, I mean, you, you took a quick step back. I mean, who in the right mind would even fight a guy who's undefeated 30-0 and on a world televised event? Yeah, throw it my way, I'll take it. And you did it. Well, yeah, like I said, like, I think uh, I, I've been keeping my word. I don't want to fight nobody that's below me. You know, I want to fight yeah. the guy that's at the next, the next level, man. I want to, like you said, I'm here. I'm, in, I'm in line already. This is where I want to stay. I want to go forward. I don't want to go backward. You know, if I fight somebody, you know, like guys usually come back from a loss and they want to fight a warm-up fight. For what? It makes no sense for me now. At this, time, at this time of my career, at the level that I'm in, it makes no sense for me to fight somebody lower than me. I want to fight the guys on top of me. This, uh, many guys in this division, this is a really hot division right now. And I want to fight the top guys. And again, I, I'm a guy who loves to explain. I, I love the old 40s, 50s, and 60s fights. Everybody fought everybody. Why is it so hard for so-called champions <laughs> to look at a gentleman such as yourself, knowing that you bring a lot to the table, you sell tickets, uh, you give 100%, I mean, why not fight you? I mean, wh wh why wouldn't? Why is it so hard? I, I I can't fathom it. I'm sorry, and I'm not trying to say jump on a bandwagon here, yeah. but it seems like every time I'm covering one of your stories, the first fight I ever covered was a fight of yours against Mike Arnidius. Okay, then from there I go. I see two wonderful outings against, which was supposed to be the next so-called uh, Pavel Wallet. What is it that there are other champions? The so-called elites of the division will not take a risk and fight a world-class fighter such as yourself. Well, because, you know, I, what is this? Uh, you know, it's, it's like I say, it's an entertainment business. It's all about business now. It's a business. You know, I love the sport, but the business sucks. And um, you know, that's something that we, us fighters, we have no control of. You know, I think I, I fought whoever they put in front of me. You know, the more it brings, whoever he brings to the table. You know, and if it sounds good, I fight. I'm not okay if he's undefeated. Well, who he is? But like I said, my job is just to fight, and I want to fight the top guys. You know, there's many guys out there that, like you say, they got good names, they make a little noise right now, bring them on, I fight any of them. Any of them, you know. Uh, like I say, I, I've been doing this for a long time now, man. I'm hungry, man. I fight whoever they put in front of me. But they got to be on top. I don't want to fight nobody below me. Now that I see the blood boiling, blood veins are pumping a little bit. Sorry that I had to get you a little emotional about this. Uh, but, but now, I want to dig deep, and I want to know something from you, Delvin. You've come up the hard way. Nobody could say that you were handed anything on a silver platter. How much does it mean to you when you, well, let, let's forget how much it means to you now. When we look back 10 years from now, when, eh, let's say 15 years from now, because Wade. Nobody's going to take this away from me. And uh, yeah, you know, we had a, a little setback, 
but the fight we lost with, with Trump, but you know what, we went back. I showed that today. I knew that I had to win this way, you know, to be able to come back and show the fans that there's still a lot that I have inside of me to give to the sport. And um, I'm very satisfied with my, with my job today, with my work. And um, like I say, I'm ready for the top guys, man. Well, it's got to be a confident uh, feeling, you know, knowing that you're in there with the best in the division. I mean, do you feel that it's almost going to be like a cakewalk when you walk in there with one of these? And, and honestly speaking, you know, there's some fighters in the division that call themselves champions. I mean, you fought better opposition and you've done better against opposition and, 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 and the best in the division. Do you feel it's going to be only a matter of time before you strap that gold around your waist, a world yeah, champion? Yeah, yeah. If I didn't think that, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be here tonight. This is why I used to, like me and you was, talk, was talking, you know, all the hard, all the bad things that happened to me. This is the reason why I'm still here. Because I know I got, I know what I have inside me. You know, as a fighter, nobody's gonna make me give up. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep working hard. And I know we're really close. You know, um, and like I say, my my mistake that I made last time is already corrected in my mind. So, uh, you know, I wanna, I wanna get to that position again, which I believe is very close. We're not far away from it. You um, know, I don't have to talk about it, but I just wanna show it next time and correct all those mistakes that I made. I don't think it's too many mistakes, Delvin. Don't be too hard on yourself, dude. <laughs> And Delvin, one thing I do want to touch on, for the kids that are watching, next generation of fighters, you know, there's always going to be that group of kids that watch fighters such as yourself. You know, always the fathers watching with their kids, you know, hey, you know, this is a Friday night fight. When someone sees someone such as yourself that comes up the old-fashioned hard way, does it through the grit, and put straps of title around their waist, and just what you're doing now, period, you know, fighting at this elite level, how did you maintain the discipline to stay at this level. You gotta want it. If you don't want it, this boxing is it's the hardest sport, hardest sport. And it's, uh, if you don't have that, if you don't really have that uh, motivation, like if you don't really want it, you're not gonna you're not gonna be motivated to get up and do your run. You're not gonna be motivated to go to the gym. You're not gonna be working while everybody is out there having fun, your friends having fun. You've got you really gotta want it. You know, if you don't want it, this, you're gonna get hurt because you're gonna you're not gonna put 100 percent into it. And when you go in that ring, you gotta be sure that you're gonna put 100% into the into whoever you fight. Otherwise, you're gonna get hurt, man. You know, this is not a game. This is a sport that uh, you can really easily die. You can really easily get hurt. You know, I seen that happen right in my eyes. I died into somebody else, unfortunately. You know, and I know, man. I know what it takes. I know what it takes to be in that ring. How deep does your passion run for the fight game itself? I still, I think, now after all the things that had happened, that have been done to me. I think now is when I really wanted the most. You know, um, I get mad at myself. Going back to the last fight again that I lost, I get mad at myself because I know what I have. I know what I can deliver in that ring, you know? And when you make a mistake in such an important fight like that, you're like, damn, look what I did, man. I'm gonna I, stop I, you again. I gotta stop you. Because I gotta be honest with you, I, I, I didn't see this. And I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna go out on a limb here because you're a hometown, I'm sorry if I gotta sound favoritism here, but I was with Austin Trout in Harlem, and he was the one that said to me that you were 10 times harder to fight than Miguel Cotto was. He was the one, that, oh man, he made me look bad on TV. So just, I, I'm gonna say that out here and that's gonna be a public, right. because I don't wanna hear someone who put on such, that I fought was a very close fight. I don't wanna see you being this hard on you. And I'm not just I, saying I this time back here, but, but I'm, I'm just being honest, dude. I, and I'm I speaking from another, that, I don't want you to appreciate, I just want you to know the facts, All right, no, thank okay? You. Thank you. And, and what I want to tell you, you're the consummate professional in Connecticut. I want you to look into the camera now, and I want you to talk to the fans of Connecticut and tell them why they should support Delvin Rodriguez and what it means to them. This is what I, you're the guy that's going to bring the title. You're the one that's in there fighting against world-class fighters that comes in here fighting on ESPN Friday night and goes against a guy 30-0 and 0 in your position where you could write your ticket if you waited up. Explain to us. Uh, you know, that guy, I, to be honest with you, I cannot complain about my fans. I believe they've been behind me 100%. The worldwide. I've lost. I have lost. I, I lost many fights, and they still support me. You saw the crowd here tonight, but you know, I gotta always thank the fans. You know, always keep asking them. You know, I'm still here, man. I'm very. I'm hungrier than ever. You know, and I'm gonna bring that title to Connecticut. You better believe that. You know, I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna keep working very hard. You know, do what I can. And I think I showed here tonight. You know. Um, I'm gonna put everything I have, it. all my training, all, all the all the aggravation and, and, and all the, those hard work that we put in the gym. You know, I want to leave everything in the ring, and um, tonight was the beginning of that. You know, and uh, just want to keep telling the fans that I'm still here, man. You know, uh, thanks for the support, and uh, like I said, I'm not gonna let them down. I'm gonna bring this belt to Connecticut. Well, Delvin, 
again, we're here. We're part of this ride from New York Thank to you. Connecticut. Thank we you. wish you all the luck in the world and hopefully to see that title belt strapped Thank around you. your way Thank very soon. Thank you.